Hi everyone and welcome back to this channel. I've had Frank, my day gecko, for already about uh, six months and I am finally gonna make the video of how to make a setup for this species. Now as you guys know, the setup will never be the same for a, for a baby or juvenile as uh, for the one to an adult. Or at least in my opinion, you know, that is usually never, that usually never happens. So I do want to be very specific that uh, this is not a forever home for this species. You know, this is the, uh, the giant day gecko, the largest species of day geckos. And he will get bigger than uh, how he is right now. So I just want to say that, uh, you know, this will not be his forever home. But he will be here, you know, for quite a few months, maybe another six months. But alright, let's get to the point and let's get this setup done. Alright, before we begin, let me show you a couple of things. All right, so first of all, that is Frank. He has grown quite a lot since I got him. You know, he was uh, only a month old when I got him. He looks super tiny. Now he doesn't. But all right, so he was actually just there for maybe a couple of weeks. And the reason why is because I was actually putting a background into his, uh, into the setup that we're about to make right now. So this is a 12 by 12 by 18 a Sumer tank and I did put a Universal Rocks background on it. You know, these are probably uh, my favorite uh, backgrounds. But all right, I just wanted to show this because uh, you know, uh, having a background helps a lot. You know, even though uh, this species uh, normally likes to hang upside down, so you know, uh, having uh, vertical stuff, it's always great. It's always good, you know, it's always a good idea to have stuff like, you know, like this ledges or, you know, a horizontal uh, stuff inside the tank. So, you know, they can, uh, they can just rest that way too. But all right, let's begin. All right, so something that I always say uh, before making a setup, especially uh, if it's going to be something that is going to stay like that forever, like for example, a bioactive setup, you know, uh, you always want to think about uh, how you're going to set it up, you know, play around with the stuff that you have or you want to add in there and, you know, uh, decide on how you want to, to leave it. Now, even though this is not a bioactive setup, I still have already an idea of, you know, what I want to do. Now something that I didn't have on his setup before was actually, uh, you know, uh, something so simple like this. This is just a, a fake, bl uh, not blind, <laughs> a fake uh, bind. And what I did is that uh, I just simply cut, uh, you know, one of the uh, one of the binds from, you know, the uh, the main stuff. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm actually going to uh, use this. This is uh, actually a, a wire that I don't know if you can actually see. And sorry about my my Cheeto fingers but uh, yeah so I'm gonna use actually this wire to actually put it a, a, a through the screen on top so it's gonna be actually hanging like this now this is not necessarily for him to you know uh, to rest on this uh, even though I have seen him doing that but this is just to uh, cover a little bit of the back so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna use this to cover the side of the tank you know try to cover a little bit of, of the sides uh, because you can still see the um, uh, the foam a little bit and since this is a wire the cool thing about it is that uh, you can actually uh, move it just in case you know for some reason you want it a specific way you know you can just leave it like that and you know this is probably the only uh well, this is you know one of the of the cool things about our uh, fake plants and stuff like this aside from them you know not ever dying Okay, one more fake plant is definitely this. Now, this is something that I have seen him use a ton. And like I said, you know, not necessarily as, okay, not necessarily for him, you know, getting on top of this and resting here, but he uses this to cover himself. He will go, you know, behind all of this and just stay right there. So that is definitely something that I want to add, you know, uh, and it will definitely help uh, to, you know, to make this look a little better. And actually before adding that, I forgot to add uh, the paper towels. As I said, you know, this is not a bioactive setup and you guys, okay. And if you guys watch my videos, you guys know that, uh, that I love bioactive setup and this will eventually be a bioactive setup. It's just not gonna happen right now. 
Now to add more stuff, I do want to show this. This is something that, that I made <laughs> using uh, the bamboo sticks. This is actually an F, you know, basically uh, in his honor for, for his name, Frank. So this is something that I'm hoping he will be using a ton. You know, uh, it, I just basically made, uh, made holes here in the middle and, you know, covered this uh, with uh, spray foam. Like I said, you know, to make sure that uh, he's not going to go in there. Even though it could actually uh, be a very good idea for him to go in here, but I would prefer for him not to. Uh, if I had to find the uh, much thicker pieces of bamboo, then it would have been perfect. But uh, I, the only thing that I found were this, because uh, the other ones were just way too expensive. All right, so I ended up deciding to switch stuff once again, something that is completely normal. All right, so what I want to try to do is actually to make the F, uh, to make it stay right there with it, where it is. Now I gotta try to find a way on how to do this. So I am trying to use, you know, the, uh, the same stuff that I have here with me. And this is what I'm gonna do. So basically what I want to do is uh, to try to, you know, uh, give them enough stuff to be uh, jumping around and stuff. You know, with the fake plants, he's gonna have enough uh, stuff to be hiding behind. Now the only other thing that I kind of wish I had was another okay was another uh, fake branch like this this is something really cool you know what uh, this is something that uh that i was able to buy a uh in a in a in a show and i will put the you know the uh the picture of uh to where i grabbed this from because uh, you know what uh, she does make some some really cool uh, magnetic stuff so what i'm gonna do with this is to simply just put it right there and the reason as to why, because it's, uh, I kind of wanted to, uh, to make sure that uh, if he's going to be jumping at the very edge right here of the, uh, of the, of the F, that, uh, you know, uh, it's going to have uh, it's as much support <laughs> as it can. Okay, I think this is just how I'm going to leave it. If, uh, okay, next month, once I go to the, to the sewer fest, I'm going to try to get uh, more of this. Uh, magnetic ledges you know or fake branches because uh, I do feel like another one right here in the middle would be uh, would be better but like I said you know I do want to add uh, a few more stuff for him to climb because you know obviously uh, this geckos will climb the glass with no problem at all but still you know for him to be climbing branches and uh, aside from just the glass it's always better but all right now time to put Frank in the tank Frank in the tank. Man, I should have used a much better, <laughs> a much better uh, cup. You cannot see, you cannot really see him in here. But that's all right, you know, I am gonna make sure to record him while he's in the tank. But all right, setup is done. As I said, this is a 12 by 12 by 18 tank. It is, you know, and the bottom is just paper towels, bamboo, a regular branch, some fake plants, this, uh, this magnetic branch, well fa fake branch, and you know on top I do have the 5.0, this is just a, a light, just so you know, uh, in the back it is uh, the 5.0 uh, Sumer UBB lights with the uh, basking light, or well heat bulb. It is getting a little bit higher as to what I wanted, but you know, that is okay. Uh, even if it gets to, uh, to 90 degrees, that is perfect. That is Frank in the back. Okay, everyone, well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a like and please subscribe if you haven't. If you guys would like to watch more videos, you can watch more right here, right here, and right here, I believe. And on this corner, you can also click to subscribe if you, like, if you would like to follow for more. Thank you so much again, and I will see you next week.